Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Let me start off today's video by asking you this. What is the one thing that silver stackers hate more than milk spots? You've guessed it, it's silver premiums. As in every other market where there is high demand, the middleman has learned that he can make a decent profit by increasing premiums since the appetite for silver is so voracious. Today I'm going to show you how I use the peculiarities and traditions of where I live to my advantage and I buy silver on the spot on a regular basis. Let's get started. Now, we all have our little weaknesses and coins, bars or rounds that we love and that we pay the premiums on, knowing full well that there is a chance we may never be able to recover that if we were forced to sell in the short run due to an emergency. And that's fine, we're not silver collecting robots that just go for what's the cheapest or most effective way of adding silver, or else we'd all probably just have 70-80% spoons and forks in our collections. How much fun would these videos be then, right? But while satisfying the collector in us with Libertads, Silver Eagles, Pandas and so forth, we should not neglect the stacker in us neither, as this will lead to poor financial decisions and that's a slippery slope. Additionally, there's just something so rewarding in finding and buying silver at underspot price. It makes us feel good, feel like treasure hunters. Everyone likes to get a good deal. Even if we're only talking about 5 or 6 bucks difference, it's just a primal desire inside of us to see ourselves as being the winners in a transaction. To do this, we need to find the neglected silver. By this I mean searching for and identifying a corner of the market that has been overlooked by the competition. A bit similar to the blue ocean business strategy, where you leave the blooded waters of the shark infested red ocean, to find or create your own blue ocean where competition is either non-existent or insignificant. This could mean looking for silver in unconventional places and in unconventional forms. If you have the skills and possibility, you can recover it from old electronics, x-rays or film, among others. You could buy it as silverware in a form that is not so sought after or you could hunt for it at thrift shops and flea markets. There are many more ways how you can find great deals I want to share with you today my favorite way of stacking silver, which for me is a perfect compromise between stacking and collecting at a price that's under spot. But first, I need to introduce you to the concept of arras or wedding coins. This is a Hispanic tradition that has been passed down for generations. Rooted in the Catholic faith, this ritual is performed at weddings in Spain and across Latin America. The godparents gift the groom 13 coins, usually made of gold, platinum or silver, which the priest blesses and they are then gifted by the groom to the bride. I won't bore you with all the details of this tradition, but I'll leave a link in the description below for anyone that's interested in reading more about it. Now, from the early 90s until the mid 2000s, the silver price was down in the dumps. We're talking 7 to 10 US dollar range. What happened here in Spain, where I currently reside, was that a lot of newspapers, magazines, and so on, inspired by the tradition of the Arras, started coming out with these CD cases with commemorative collections of 13 coins that they would sell with their newspapers to celebrate certain events, historical figures, anniversaries, football teams, and so on. Because silver was so cheap in that period, these were very popular and ended up being bought a lot. They are usually sterling, or 92.5% silver, with some like these FC Barcelona ones, being 80% silver. The most I paid for any of these is 35 euros for my first FC Barcelona one. That's 37.51 dollars at today's exchange rate. The coins weigh in at 75.38 grams, of which 80% or 60.30 grams are pure silver. That works out to 0.622 US dollars per gram or 19.34 US dollars per ounce. The worst deal I made, if you can call it that, was paying 30 euros or 32.15 US dollars for this Arras de Sevilla that weighs 49.02 grams of sterling or 0.295 fine silver. 
That means that it contains 45.44 grams of pure silver and works out to 0.66 euros or 0.71 US dollars per gram for a total price per ounce of 20.55 euros or 22.08 US dollars. A normal or regular deal would be, for example, this collection of famous Basque people that set me back 22 euros or 23.58 dollars. It weighs 50.94 grams and it is 0.925 silver. Doing all the math wizardry again, that's 47.11 grams of pure silver and works out to exactly 50 cents a gram or 15.56 dollars an ounce. The best deal I ever got with these is this commemorative set of the Lyon newspaper which weighs 52.61 grams of again 0.925 silver or 48.66 grams of pure silver. I got this for the incredible price of 12 euros or 12 dollars and 86 cents. That works out to, get this, 0.264 dollars a gram, 26 cents. Times that by 31.1 and we get the price per ounce of 8 dollars and 22 cents. Now, I need to come out and admit that these prices do not include shipping and insurance, but as you'll see in a moment, even after we include everything, it still works out to be a sweet deal. In total, for the 9 collections featured here, I paid a combined sum of 207 euros or 221.83 dollars. Including shipping and insurance, I paid 254 euros and 18 cents or 272 dollars and 39 cents for a grand total of 453.91 grams of pure silver or 14.6 ounces. That results in exactly 60 euro cents per gram or 18.66 an ounce or 64 American dollar cents a gram or 19.9 dollars an ounce. All of this was purchased mainly in January of 2023 and some of it in February and knowing what I know now I expect that price to go down to around 15 dollars per ounce or less with me optimizing transportation and insurance costs and also negotiating a bit more than before. In fact the average price per ounce for my last 5 purchases has been $15.86 all in. That of course is unless this video goes viral and I end up ruining my own market. With under 100 subscribers at the moment, I'll take that risk. But in all seriousness, I just wanted to show you that there are opportunities out there to buy cheap silver and while I'm not sure if this tradition exists in the United States, Canada or other nations, I just wanted to show you that silver on the spot is not a unicorn. With the growing Latino population in the States, it's very possible that very soon you will come across an Aras for sale near where you are. Or maybe you are planning a holiday to the sunny Mediterranean shores of Spain. Make sure to install the app Wallapop and keep an eye out for these pretty coins. Don't be afraid to haggle. This is a second hand market, not a store. I hope you liked today's video and it inspired you to go out there and find some undervalued silver as well. I would love to have your support by liking and subscribing to the channel. Now I'll leave you with a few pictures of these small bits of shiny. Happy stacking everyone.